This tutorial will show you how to pack your map's custom content, should you have any, how to create a map thumbnail, GMA file, and lastly, how to upload it to the workshop. So you have a few options when it comes to packing custom content. I've pretty much tried all of the programs out there, but the one that works for me is BSP Zip GUI. To get this to work, we need to change some settings. Click this button here to set up the game. Click Add, name it whatever, and then click the BSP Browse button. Navigate to Gmod's bin folder, and then click the BSP Zip Executable. Then click the Game Info Browse button and go to Gmod's Gary's Mod folder and open the GameInfo.txt file. Then click Save Settings. Not sure if this does anything, but I don't want to find out the hard way. Now go to the Custom Folder Settings tab. Same as before, click Add, name it something, and then go to the folder that contains your BSP. This will most likely be different for everybody. Now go to the BSP Packer tab. Make sure in game you have the config for Gmod you use selected. Then click browse for the BSP file and go to where your BSP you want to pack is located. And now you can click pack BSP. If you've checked the output to a new BSP button, you can rename the file to something else and save it wherever. I recommend doing the desktop for a later step. This is probably the hardest one because I rarely see people doing it and it's so specific on how it works. Anyways, what you need is a PNG image that is 128 by 128 pixels in size. Let me repeat that. It has to be 128 by 128 pixels, and it needs to be a PNG file. If you have GIMP, you can just scale the image down and export it as a PNG by changing the file extension to that. To create the GMA file, you will need GMPT, or the Gary's Mod Publishing Tool. There are a few things that we'll need to set up, though. Go to your desktop and create a new folder. Title it what the name of your map is. Then go into that folder and create another folder. Title it Maps. Then go into that folder and create another folder and title it Thumb. Now that we have that done, put your map BSB in the Maps folder and put your 128 by 128 PNG file in the Thumb folder. This is the icon that will show up in the map selection screen in game. With all of that taken care of, go back to GMPT and click the Create GMA button. Then click this folder button and click the folder that we created on the desktop. Then, in the title section of add-on, just put the name of your map without the file extension. Then, you can click this little map button right here, then whatever tags you want, and you're allowed to pick up to two of them. Finally, click the select button in GMA output. I think you can give it whatever name you want, but I'm going to go with the name of that map just for convenience. Click the open button. It may go into the add-on folder, which is fine. Then click open again, and that's that. All you have to do now is click add to queue and then execute. Make sure that afterwards, you move the GMA file to the desktop. To upload to the workshop, we're going to be using this tool called Crowbar. Navigate to the Publish tab. Click this drop down menu and select Gary's Mod if it hasn't been selected already. Now make sure you click this draft button right here if you happen to already have maps published to the workshop. Fill out the text fields, which are self explanatory, and down in the content folder, click Browse and select the GMA file we created earlier. Now you can finally upload your glorious creation. You can also change the visibility, so if you want to edit the images that will show up on the workshop page, you can do that. And then you can change the visibility there as well. I hope this tutorial helped you. Check the description for any issues that you may have had, and of course links to all the programs that I mentioned are down in the description.